Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing the ride or die tag, which was started, I believe, by Jaclyn Hill because that's kind of her thing. Yeah, I tell them a ton of people have been doing it recently, and so I thought it would be fun to do it as well. I did add a couple of extra, like, categories on, but really not many. So yeah. <laughs> let's just get started so basically the idea with the tag is that you go through a bunch of different categories and you pick out your favorite holy grail ride or die type of product and yeah all right so the first category is primer i don't really have a favorite primer i don't use them very often because i don't feel like they do a whole lot they don't really seem to be all that different to me but one that i've been really enjoying recently isn't actually a primer but it is a like daytime moisturizer and that is the neostrata pore minimizing anti-shine hydrating gel which is this guy right here i'm wearing it today i actually did a get ready with me uh like a chatty get ready with me featuring all of the products pretty much that i'm mentioning here so if you want to see any of the things in action that will be up in a couple of days this sh video should be going up first but yeah this is just a moisturizer but because it is anti-shine and pore minimizing and everything it makes a really good base it soaks in really easily it's oil free and yeah it sort of moisturizes but leaves a really sort of clean slate to put your makeup on top of so i have been really enjoying that for foundation i chose the makeup forever hd foundation uh, this is my original one and this is my new ultra hd they're really basically the same thing in my books. Uh, they're slightly different colors. I don't think they made perfectly equivalent colors when they remade the formula, but this one's pretty much empty, so I'm completely into using the Ultra HD now. I am in the color R230, which is the equivalent color for N115. And yeah, and these just look really great all the time. You can do a really light coverage. You can do more of a medium to maybe like a high medium coverage. I wouldn't say you can get a full coverage. It looks very natural on the skin. It's not dewy or matte. It's just very natural. It lasts all day. And even on days when I get really oily, it lasts all day. It still looks amazing, even if I look a little extra shiny, which is really great because I hate makeup that sort of breaks down on your face. This plus my powder are just perfect and they last all day for me. They look good after like 16 hours, 18 hours. I've worn it for very, very long days, hot days, cold days. It's just like my go-to. I know it will work every single time. For concealer, I have the Locket Kat Von D Concealer. Uh, I'm in the color Light 16, I believe, assuming they haven't changed the colors with the new packaging. This is the old tube because these tubes are huge and I only got it maybe a year ago. But yeah, they weren't they apparently didn't change the formula when they changed the packaging, so that's really good. Uh, you can still get this, and it's great. I haven't tried a lot of concealers, and honestly, I don't have a ton to conceal, but I do find that this has really good coverage. It stays really well. It doesn't crease or slip around or anything. I use it both under my eyes and on random blemishes or red patches all over my face. So this is a really great overall concealer in my opinion. If you're scared of it because of the foundation, I found that the foundation is really thick and cakey on me, but the concealer is absolutely beautiful. It's really, really great. So don't be scared to give that one a go or go and get them to give you like a sample. For my powder, we're going to my first like not high end product. My go-to powder for years and years and years, even before YouTube, like while I was still in high school, my favorite powder has been the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. I've gone through so many of these. Again, I'm like halfway through this one. The color doesn't matter too much. I've used a bunch of the different colors. There's like a translucent one if you're worried about it not working for your skin tone. There's very pale. They don't go super dark, which is their really their big downfall, but obviously I have quite pale skin, so it works really, really well. It does keep some of the shine at bay. Uh, it adds a teeny bit of extra coverage and just sets everything down really, really perfectly. I don't find that it's too matte, and you could also use it a lot lighter than I do for an even less matte look but it does work to set everything down really well. It's cheap and affordable and a really great product. For blush, I don't really have a huge love of blushes. Most of my blushes are in the same color family. I have a lot of sort of peachy coral blushes. My love of peachy coral blushes spawns from my love of Benefit Coralista. 
I could not find, for the life of me, I could not find my Coralista anywhere to do this video, so I'm going to include a little picture of the packaging here. But it is just this beautiful, slightly shimmery, not too pigmented coral shade. It's absolutely gorgeous on the cheeks. You could build it up or wear it really pale. And I love it. I also really love the smell of that blush. It's just great all around. Uh, I partially stopped using it for a while because I did hit pan on it and I was worried about using it up. Um, but I do really want to find it and start using it again because it's an absolutely beautiful blush. For bronzer, I've gone with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Just that one right there. I like the Milk Chocolate Soleil because it is fairer and works really, really well on my skin without getting too much. I could probably work with the mid-tone or even the dark one. I just have to use a lot less product. But yeah, I just find that this one is a really great all-around product for my skin tone. I can use it to contour or to bronze and also as like a transition shade in on the eyes. So I really, really love this. Also, just like all of the other chocolate powders and the chocolate palettes, it smells like chocolate, which is so, so good. It just makes you so happy when you're putting it on. For highlighter, I wanted to go with my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish, but I could not find it anywhere. Again, like the Coralista, I must have put them like both away and pulled out a bunch of other things uh, just so I would use other things because those are two of my favorite products in the world. Um, but I put them somewhere weird because I cannot find them. I have pulled out the Essence Pure Nude because it is a very similar tone, I feel, to the Soft and Gentle. But it has a lot less of the glitter and the shimmer. This is a much more subtle highlight. Um, but again, a very similar color. I'm wearing it today. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's very, very different from Soft and Gentle. It doesn't have any of the glitter. It's like Soft and Gentle's tame baby cousin. <laughs> Um, but it's really pretty. For mascara, I have to go with the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I love this mascara. This is my go-to mascara. I always know it's going to be exactly what I want it to be. It does have a bit of a weird brush for me. These are not typically my favorite brushes. It's got stubby little spikes on a rubbery brush. Um, I usually like a much more natural brush, a very large brush with long bristles. But this, the formula of it is just in just perfect the brush works really well with that formula and it's really good whether you want a more natural lash or a very intense voluminous black lash so yeah i always know this is exactly what i want it to be for lips i've gone with mac lipsticks in general specifically uh, mac satins mattes and amplified but all of their lipsticks are really really great i love the more full coverage ones but all of them are awesome. I have a huge collection. These are just three. I've got uh, Viva Glam 1, which I'm wearing right now. Rebel, which is a beautiful sort of purpley magenta shade. And Relentlessly Red, which is a retro matte sort of orange or corally pink, honestly. L less so a red than a pink. But yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. I love the coverage. I love the feel on the lips. I love that the different formulas all work really, really well and do exactly what they say they're going to do. Yeah, MAC lipsticks are always going to be my go-to, partially just because not only are they comfortable, but they smell fantastic. So I love putting them on and I love having them on my lips. For liquid lipstick, um, again, I forgot to pull them out somehow, but my favorite liquid, liquid lipstick has got to be the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. Um, they just have such an amazing range of colors. They dry down perfectly on the lips. They go completely matte. They go and they last just all day and I absolutely love wearing them. They're one of those lipsticks that I can forget that I'm wearing. I don't find them super, super drying though they are, you know, they're fairly drying but I find them quite comfortable. I'd much rather have a dry lip than a like glossy, slippery lip. My favorite eye palette, I've gone with the Naked One by Urban Decay. It's just such a beautiful go-to. It's got all my favorite tones, it's got great transition shades, got some beautiful golds. Uh, these two here make my favorite smoky eye that I've ever done. Yeah, and there's just it's just really, really beautiful. I always know that I'm going to get a look that I like from the Naked palette. One category that I'm adding in myself is eye primer. Uh, and you may or may not already know that my favorite eye primer are the Essence eyeshadow bases. Uh, my longtime favorite is the I Love Stage eyeshadow base. I recently received the I Love Color Intensifying base, which is more of a light pink tone. 
Both of them work exactly the same. They work beautifully. They hold your eyeshadows on. They intensify the color. Yeah, they're just slightly different tones. So if you are uncomfortable with this weird yellow one, just know that they now have a much paler, lighter pink tone one. But they will both work fantastically. They're very inexpensive. And yeah, I love them. I also added the category of eyeliner. The 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. I have had, this is at least my third one. Um, I just love this pencil. It's super black. It lasts really well on my eyes. I also have a bunch of different colors of this pencil just because I really do love the formula. But the black is always going to be my go-to. For setting spray, I don't really have a favorite setting spray. I feel like a lot of them work very, very similarly. I have tried the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, and the uh, Essence setting spray. Uh, my favorite of all time has been the Urban Decay All Nighter. I haven't repurchased it just because I do already still have two other setting sprays that I want to use up first. Um, but yeah, it just, it smells the best and I love spraying it on. I'm less likely to forget it just because I do like applying it. So in that way it works best for me. And honestly, it's not much smaller or much more expensive than the Makeup Forever. And I really like it. For perfume, I have to go, and this is going to make me sound really juvenile, but I have to go with the original Paris Hilton perfume. This is just a small bottle. I do also have a large bottle of this, and this is either my second or third bottle. I've, I've bought like three overall. I used up a small one, and I bought a big one and another small one because I love it so much. I never want it to disappear. It's just... It just smells so happy to me. It's like a floral, fruity, sweet, but not vanilla-y smell. It's definitely not candy-ish. It just always, always works. It works for daytime. It works for nighttime. It doesn't smell like children or candy. It just smells really, really me. It's not too floral. A lot of times really floral scents can give me headaches. But yeah, I always love this one. So this is my go-to. And then finally, just because it seemed irrelevant, I wanted to talk about my favorite nail polishes. I've mentioned these before in, in my year-end favorites videos, but my favorite base coat is the Essie Million Nails Nail Strengthener. I love this stuff because I have very thin, brittle, peely nails naturally, and this is fantastic. It works just as well as the OPI Nail Envy. It's a very similar product, but it's like half the price. It's only $10 a bottle, just like every other Essie product ever. Uh, it works really, really well. I just use a single coat as my base coat every time I do my nails, and it keeps them happy and stronger and actually lets them grow out a little bit. For top coat, my go-to is the INM Out the Door Fast Drying Top Coat. This is actually my first bottle, uh, but I have refilled this little bottle from a larger, like, big ball bottle because... It's just great, so I bought a huge bottle of it so that I wouldn't run out. In total, I've probably gone through like six bottles of this top coat. I do my nails a lot, and it's really, really good. It's very, very quick drying. It's not as shiny as Cesar Your Feet, but it's a much thinner formula and doesn't dry out as quickly. It's less expensive than Cesar Your Feet, especially if you buy it on, um, I think, Nail Polish Canada. You can get like the bigger bottles too. Also, Amazon has the big bottles. And I don't find that this one shrinks on my nails. Uh, sesh, especially after I got through like the first third of a bottle, it would start to dry out in a weird way and it would shrink away from like the tips of my nails and make it look like my polish didn't go all the way to the ends of my nails. So it looked like I had weird tip wear. I started pulling away from like my cuticles and everything and it would just shrink on my nails really weirdly and that would cause me to pick it off. It wasn't a good time. And then finally, my favorite nail colors of all time are the Essie nail polishes, especially any of the sort of creamy, non-shimmery colors are my favorite. They always, always last the longest on my nails. They go on really beautifully, and they look fantastic. Uh, three colors that I've pulled out right now are the one I'm wearing now, which is Power Clutch, which is just a gray. Looks like that. And then Playdate, which is a beautiful pink-toned lilac. Uh, like purple lilac, not like, but it's got like some pink undertone to it. And then I also have Two Taboo, which is this beautiful magenta fuchsia shade. 
But yeah, those are my absolute favorites. I also have a few other ones. I've got some shimmery ones as well, but the like cream ones definitely work the best. So that was everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to see more videos from me. And let me know down in the comments if you like any of these products, if you've tried any of these products, and what your ride or die products are. Or if you've done a video or a blog post, let me know that too down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Basically what I'm going for is a matte browns, warm tones, and mostly drugstore products. So to start off, I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. In my crease, I'm gonna take a mixture of these two colors right here. This one's just a little bit deeper than I want, so I'm gonna mix the two. Just to the center of the lower lip to make it a little bit more nude. All right, so that is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed it.